My name is Christine Lidget, I'm from the United States. Christoph Kovac, Hungary. Hello, I'm Paul Cardozo, I'm from Portugal. My name is Evelina and I'm from Poland. My name is Lucy and I'm Canadian. Hi, I'm Katina Falcão from Portugal. Now this is a this is a very very interesting question because it, it depends a lot upon what the future actually looks like. Um, how, how will globalization affect the relations between nations, security relations uh, in the near future? Uh, and that, uh, I think, I, in my opinion, the, uh, in the future, uh, NATO um, should focus on, not, not on environment in itself per se, because there are a lot of other organizations I feel that are better situated to deal with that, but uh, it should focus on uh, the security threats that, that result out of climate change, environmental change, uh, migration, for example, uh, conflict due to migration or, or conflict over resources, natural resources, that is something that NATO would be uh, ideal to, to deal with, would be equipped uh, to deal with um, in, in the future, and that's one of the key aspects that it should be focusing on in the, in the future, um, as well as uh, continuing to support um, emerging democracies, um, in, for example, in Afghanistan um, and, and uh, in within the North Atlantic um, ge geography, and also uh, any any states that that um, that call upon NATO um, explicitly to do so. In the future, um, along with the with the classical military threats, uh, we should uh, the new threats uh, will contain the global warming, terrorism proliferation of weapons, weapons of mass destruction and the problems of immigration. Threats. Uh, according to threats, uh, the most obvious one is terrorism. Since 9-11, uh, uh, everybody knows that uh, um, everything changed and uh, NATO has to adapt. NATO has to adapt. Uh, it has been adapting uh, gradually, of course. And uh, besides terrorism and the threats uh, that are inherent uh, various kinds of threats inherent to terrorism. Uh, it also, it's also a, a role, uh, according to the challenges, it's also a role of NATO uh, to ensure uh, to ensure help. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll give you the example of the, uh, the earthquakes in Pakistan. NATO has been in the theater of operations, uh, helping, uh, helping the ones in need. Well, that's a very difficult question, because first we need to decide whether we uh, need NATO um, in the um, the way it's organized and um, and um, um, the way it's organized and run today. Um, I think NATO should definitely change its goals. Uh, it should change its policy and. <laughs> Um, I think maybe if, I mean, I wouldn't like it to be a project where we sit at the table and manufacture um, reasons for NATO to exist. I think that an organization should exist whether, when there's a true purpose for it to exist. I don't think that we should or have an organization first and then think of purposes for, it, for its existence. I think it should be the other way around. So if there's a real purpose for NATO to exist, I think it will show up sooner or later, rather sooner than later. Humanitarian interventions. I know that NATO has a great technologies that we can share. Uh, so any other emergency interventions that will be needed, uh, whether within the NATO countries or outside. What I'm really sure of is that NATO should not be an organization which um, militarily invades countries which are outside of your uh, of NATO, um, and th like with Afghanistan, we we don't really have any results of that. The situation is getting worse and worse. So I wouldn't want NATO to be such an organization for sure. Well, it's I mean impossible to say what kind of security threats and challenges are going to come up, even in the next decade. But I do believe that NATO should handle the military aspect of these aims and perhaps allow other organizations or governments to come in and deal with their own respective specializations. For example, the cultural side of civil conflict.
or anything like that. I believe that NATO should deal with any military conflicts that come up and should be involved and considered. I think uh, terrorism mostly, but of course the good integration of the new countries that are uh, coming in with the enlargement at least. I think that's very important. And uh, not only providing military training to those uh, countries, but also communicate our values and expand our uh, intervention in that region.